Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Hideous SD2. Uh, it's, it's basically a uh, dongle, as you, it even states dongle these days, so yes, it's a little dongle amp deck. And as you can see, it's kind of an interesting shape. And I actually have tried this already. And yet, as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Hades themselves for sending it out to me, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And yet, as, in, as also, as two unique things that this can do, is it does microphone, so inline microphone, and inline controls, so it's a little bit different to some of the ones I've tried recently. And yeah, let's just get into it. So let's see what you get. Mine is the black version. It states there the SD2. Uh, Nothing on the side really there. So it's some specs. So obviously there's the sizes, the DAC, which is the 9270. Uh, I've tried this before, I think once. Uh, DSD, 64128, if that matters to you. 32 bit to 384 kilohertz, which is again more than enough. Single edit 3.5, so obviously it also supports four pole. Um, supports sampling rate, I'll talk about that later on. So made of alloy and resin, type C, supports Android. Uh, obviously I've tried it with um, my phone, works fine. Windows 10 I've tried it with. Uh, Mac, iPad OS and iOS, that's, I, have not, I don't have any Apple gear. And it comes with um, a few extra accessories, which I didn't expect. Obviously this is a tiny box. Let's give it a wiggle. Let's get this out. So yeah, kind of an interesting shape. Obviously, uh, later on I'll show an image what it's like to plug it into a normal cell, like smartphone. Here is the light when it's in use. That's only on one side. So that's a better one you can see now in the light. Obviously 3.5, flip it over, and that's that. So yeah, not much to show there. Let's plug this out. All the links so yeah so they've actually realized people use this with computers and laptops for example include the adapter which is uh useful so this is a to lightning adapter if you need to use that so a qc pass and a bit of paper so chinese and probably some other languages there and yeah, English is at the front. Pause if that matters to you. So there's the sampling rate issue. So blue up to there and red there. So it's either red or blue. Quite straight, quite straightforward. That's obviously yeah, how long you should listen to certain de the you know for your hearing and just normal kind of information there. So yeah, in the next clip, I'll show you what it looks like plugged into my computer. So you can see what it. You know what it actually looks like if you use it with a computer and yeah so that's the next clip then straight after that will be the my review section so this is using the uh, windows 10 i'm using it with the type c uh to usb a adapter and it's what it comes up with so as you can see it is the here is sd2 dac amp so let's have a look properties levels this is 100 percent so make sure you adjust these to what's suitable for you so always drop it down to like five really then go up if you have to uh, advanced so i'm running it at the maximum but you can pick it from all of these to all support it which is uh which is good special sound is off and uh, recording like i said before in the intro it does support uh microphone i'm using a us my desktop one just to record this so that's why that's moving but it does support um inline mic so let's click properties listen if you need to do that to check it levels again make sure you adjust this so start 25 percent maybe then work your way up then advanced so it's 48 kilohertz for both um 16 bit and 24 bit um and that's it so yeah in the next section we'll uh, go into the full review so welcome to my review section the hideous sd2 as you can see it's quite small so let's just get straight into it so um, very basic, there's no buttons or anything like that, so there's no filters or nothing like that. Um, I didn't really show you on the image, but only this, this glow is just here. Um, the colours I've already shown you in the manual. And that's it, so it's kind of basic, but at least when it's on, you know it's got power and it's working. Uh, and yeah, so single ended 3.5. So the power, I think it's 70 milliwatts at 32 ohms. 
which seems low compared to some of the more uh, powerful items, even like their own um, 3.5 and 4.4 millimeter one, not the Pro Plus, the S9 Pro Plus. Um, but it's a little bit misleading, so if you use it with the phone, it, it requires more power, like 60 or 70 percent. But if you use this again with the computer, you have a bit more range, you have a bit more power. So I find it's actually fine for headphones, especially with a PC or a laptop. But with a phone, you want something more powerful. So again, playing ours on, on my phone, you could probably push this easy, like 80%. You know, give or take. But if you use the same thing on a computer, you, need, you actually need less power to do it. So computer or laptop is the best way, to, I think, to use this. Obviously, you can use it with your phone as well, obviously. It's good that you include that adapter, which you saw in the box. Um, yeah, so buttons, uh, there isn't none. So it also um, only supports sync. So, so if you use this with the computer, Windows controls the volume of this. It's synced, so it's not independent volume. Uh, again, because there's no buttons, if that matters to you. It's the same as the S9 Pro Plus. It didn't have independent volume control. It was synced volume. Again, prefer, for phones or tablets, I prefer sync. But with the computer, I've said it before, I've said it many times, I prefer independent volume control. Um, yes, yeah, so support. So I've tried this with my phone, which is a Xiaomi uh, Redmi 9, Redmi Note 10 Pro Plus. Um, I think, and that works absolutely fine, no issues at all. I think it's Android 13 for memory. And I'll try this again with my PC, as you just saw in the previous clip, Windows 10. No problems at all, plug and play. No issues at all. So... Sound of this, what does it sound like, Vortex? So, this is a more of a cheaper item. So, I sound it's, I think it's quite resolving. Not resolving as, as items you'd pay, pay more for. Basic, basically, for the price, this is, I think this is just under forty dollars. It sounds great for that. You know, I don't accept. You know, I don't. You know, it to have top tier resolution. It's forty dollars. You know, they're. Yeah, their their other models are more resolving this than this, but for the for the forty dollars, I think it's quite very good value for money for sheer sound quality. Um, but to describe the sound, I'd say it has a slightly warm tint to it, really. But that's all I can say, really. I was, I'm quite happy with its performance, and everything sounds really good. I was quite you know I enjoyed my time with this, really, and not much to say really. So power consumption. For me, it seems quite efficient, but it also does get a little bit warm. It doesn't get hot, it gets warm. Um, that's all I can say, really, no problems at all. Obviously, this does support DSD, if that really matters to you. Um, and the noise floor on this, I didn't really any hit here, any hiss or anything like that. I've tried with some efficient earphones. Um, yeah, not a problem. Works absolutely fine, really. So... Uh, short review, so what do I think of this? I, I like it. Um, somebody are going to end. Do I recommend this? Yes and no. Um, the only things I don't like with it is the shape. So I prefer if it's like a right-angled connector, if it's possible with a chipset. It might not be possible. But I prefer if it was right-angled. to uh, See if this is plugged in your phone, like you saw in the um, an image. I'll probably show you now so you can see what it looks like. It'd be easy to like snag it. Um, or maybe damage your USB-C port. And that's it really. So the, the A-Port Power 70 mil is fine for like $40. You know, it's not $80, $90. It's priced, I think, competitively for how it sounds. But yeah, really, that's the only real negatives in me is a right-angle connector, if it's possible. Um, and two, just to make sure you don't damage it like kind of in your port, in the USB-C port. So all I can say, it does, it does work really well. I think it sounds great. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's more than... I'm very happy for what they have. I was expecting this to cost a little bit more than this. Um, and that's it. I think that's all I can say, really. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I prefer this, again, with your lap, uh, laptop. So you could plug this in your laptop with the adapter. Obviously, you, obviously this way, sorry. And obviously, your earphone uh, cable coming out here. And obviously, because it's in line with, kind of with your computer... Your laptop, I think it's fine. So it's good for, I think it's good for laptops, really. Um, obviously, it works fine with computers as well. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if you think I missed anything, please do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. And yeah, see you in the next video.